What's going on everyone? Steven here. In this video I'm going to show you how to give yourself infinite ammo in Far Cry 6. If you're just interested in using the cheat table itself, I have a link in the description so that you can go download it and check it out. Um, and then for those of you who want to see how to create this cheat yourself, this is great for if something changes in the game and the table breaks and you know I pretty much hack a game once and then kind of move on from it so this will allow you to kind of update it yourself <clears throat> so anyway alright with that out of the way uh, the first thing that you'll do is of course have cheat engine installed and then you will open the game process that you want by clicking this button I'm already attached to Far Cry 6 here um, so I already have um, a couple of scripts written so this one's going to be infinite ammo um, so basically to find ammo is very simple first off uh, you see how I have eight available shots in this weapon so whatever weapon you have and however many shots you have um, set your value type to four bytes if it isn't already and the first thing that you're going to do is search for that number that you see so it's an 8 for me on this screen here so I'm gonna first scan for that and then once that comes up what you want to do is fire a shot and change that value so now it's 7 we'll search for 7 next scan okay you can do it again search for 6 all right, see how there's a bunch of values in here changing? What you can do is select unchanged value from the drop down here because we know our value has not changed. So we're scanning for an unchanged value. All these values that are changing, we can get rid of them. So next scan, keep clicking it a bunch. All right, so let's go ahead and we see there's some values that are changing again. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here, take another shot. Okay, so it looks like we have a bunch of values here. That's okay. Uh, what you can do is select like the bottom half. Um, so you'll click one, hold shift, uh, click like there, click this arrow, and that will bring that many down into the address list here. So let's go ahead and try locking these by shift clicking again, pressing space bar. We'll try to lock these values and let's take a shot. All right, so you might see it drop down one like it did, uh, but if it's actually locked at five, then it, it shouldn't go below that <clears throat> um, or below one below that. So the game is trying to load less than, but we have it locked at the higher value. So there we go, there's infinite ammo. Uh, so it's one of these, so let's go ahead and select half of these, and we will untoggle those. Take another shot. Okay, let's deselect this one. Oh, it went up to five. Okay, so it looks like we might have, whatever value that was that we have locked there, might have had something to do with the display. So now one of these two is our actual one. All right, there it is. So this is our ammo. So now you can right click on this and say, find what writes to this address. All right, so now go in here, take a shot. All right, so this instruction writes to the address. So now we'll say show disassembler. And so now what we want to do is I'm going to untoggle this and I want to go back to here, okay? And now I want to reload, and let's see if that count increases for that instruction. Okay, it did. So this instruction looks like it has to do with um, writing whenever you lose ammo, writing whenever you gain ammo, uh, and all that. So <clears throat> maybe we don't necessarily want to completely get rid of this instruction. Maybe we do. Uh, we don't know yet so this might denote some testing needed but you know uh, since this is just like current ammo like what's in your clip if you were to get rid of this instruction whether you gain or lose ammo it shouldn't really matter you know what I mean so anyway just kinda giving you an idea of 
uh, fleshing out an instruction more to possibly see what kind of ramifications you might have and things you might want to test. So uh, here I still have a symbol applied from a previous uh, run through here. So I'm going to go to view, user defined symbols. I'm going to delete these symbols. Oh, right click, delete all. There we go. Yes. Okay. So pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> um, okay, so the instruction is here. And what I've chosen to do is uh, do this, attack this conditional move. All right. So basically, if we nop this instruction uh, or replace with code that does nothing, everything will work just fine. But let's do this. Okay, see, we have five there in the clip. So let's replace with code that does nothing on here. All right, and let's take some shots. All right. Right click, restore with original code. We've seen what happens. Okay. So with this here, with this conditional move, okay, let's replace with code that does nothing and see what happens. Okay, we still lose ammo one by one. So let's restore with original code. All right, what if we reverse the condition of this? Okay, so <clears throat> basically let's go um, copy this, All right? So basically I double clicked here. You'll right click here, copy. So we're copying the original instruction. So instead of a conditional move, let's just make it a move. Let's always move EAX and the EBX and just see what happens. Okay, we haven't really ascertained what this does yet. We have an idea that it does something because here EBX, whatever value is in that gets written to um, our address here. So EAX is moved into EBX and then that value is moved into our address. So we know this instruction is doing something right before here, right? So let's just change this to a move and let's see what happens. So we click OK. It's going to ask us this and just say yes. All right, because the original code here is three bytes, but the modification we're making only requires two bytes. So it says, do you want to replace the ones you're not using with a NOP? And you do want to do that. All right, so now let's fire a shot and see what happens. All right, it went up to eight. And it's staying there. So it looks like that has something to do with comparing to the max value that can be in the clip for that weapon, right? So, bam, that kind of gives us an idea for what we want to do with our cheat. Instead of nopping this and then seeing whatever the current value of ammo is constantly in the clip, if we do this, it should basically keep the max value possible in the clip, right? So I'm going to double click on this and paste the original code back. Say OK. All right, now here it says the generated code is three bytes long, which is the code we're writing back. It needs three bytes. But the selected opcode, which is here, is only two bytes. Do you want to replace the incomplete opcodes with NOPs? We do not want to do that this time because we want to take up one, two, and three bytes that are there, right? That third byte that we added as a NOP, right? So we'll say no here and that will replace those. All right, so now let's go tools, auto assemble, template, AOB injection. Just say okay. You can call this nth ammo. All right, and now since we know the slight modification that we want to make, we don't really need to keep anything here except for this INF ammo, all right, which tells us where this location is, right? So uh, we can see where the injection point is. It's this. And so what we want to do is we can get rid of this return and this knob and this jump here, all right? Let's paste what we copied. And remember, we want our new code to be a move, All right? So that'll be the new code. And then here we can paste the original instruction there. We'll get rid of this because we don't need to allocate memory for anything at all. We just want to change the instruction directly right there using the bytes that we have, okay? 
I like to kind of shuffle this stuff around a little bit personally. Okay, so there we have this. And now if we go File, Assign to Current Sheet Table, close this. All right, we can call this, you know, Infinite Ammo, which I have in the script here that I've already written. I did the exact same thing that we've done here. All right, so now if I shoot, <coughs> you see ammo is decreased. Now if I enable this script, oh, we get a crash. Why did we crash? All right, let's look in the script here. So what did we do? All right, at infinite ammo, which is here, we've got our C move EBX. Okay, register symbol, infinite ammo, infinite ammo, move EBX, EAX. Um, let's look at my original script here. Ah, boom. <laughs> Forgot to add in that not. So th this is why we wanted to say yes. Okay. We wanted to say yes because, you know, whenever we were changing this instruction manually in the disassembler, because if there's just a random byte in there, it means something totally different. So you need to provision for all of your bytes. Uh, whenever you make modifications. So this one little knob right here, uh, that's the thing that, that made us crash with the script because I didn't go here and say knob, right? So I'm going to keep this in. I like keeping these things in because it just goes to show you that, like, I mean, it doesn't matter how much experience you have doing this stuff. You're going to do dumb little stuff like this. <laughs> You know, like maybe like me, I you didn't get enough sleep last night and your brain is just fried, you know? <laughs> anyway. All right. So, uh, yeah, that that's basically it. Um, in the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to show you um, that this does work with every weapon that I've got up to that point. And uh, you can see that it, it works perfectly. So anyway, all right. Check out the next video I've got coming up. It's uh, infinite health and infinite stamina, and then I will be continuing to post more videos on this game in the coming days. So make sure you keep up with those. Give me a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you on the next one. All right, take care.